listen, I, I, and, I, and I'm trying, and I'm trying to be as as considerate of your time as humanly possible. I I, I got to talk about your book. Oh, you, thank you, man. We started this off by saying you got a number one book on Amazon. Congratulations, mm. my brother. The funny thank don't you. stop. The well, funny you know, don't stop. Man, I'm very proud of it. It was my pandemic project. Uh, not gonna lie was like, I don't know if we ever going to hit a stage again. Uh, long story short, this amazing artist named Mike Goldstein slid into my DMs one day as a fan and literally drew one of my pick, one of my jokes. He just, one of my favorite jokes, and he drew it and put it into animation and illustration. I was so blown away by the artwork that I was like, yo, let's do another one. Yo. Let's do another. I got a ton of jokes. Yo, let's. So it was crazy to see all my jokes and crazy ideas come to life through animation and illustration. Next thing I know, I had a top selling book on Amazon. And it's 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 not like a lot of guys books that we know. It's all animated and illustrated. And it's just my crazy thoughts and a lot of my crazy jokes. And you get it on Amazon. It's called The Funny Don't Stop. Or you can go to my Instagram at funny man, Alex Thomas. That's funny man, Alex Thomas, all one word. Click the link in the bio and it'll take you directly uh, to Amazon to pick up the book. It's only $24.99. Come on, it'll be the best little $24.99 you ever spent because you're going to laugh your ass off. Do it come with a signature? It doesn't. <laughs> That's when you got to catch me live. So uh, funny you say that. So... I, that's why I mean I sell out every city I go to. Every city I perform in, I bring like 50 or 100 books and I just sell out like like Blue Magic Brothers. But so when they buy it live, when I'm in, you know, live, when they come to my shows, I sell them for $20. And with $20, you get a picture with me and I sign it. Mm. So on the people that buy it on Amazon, $24.99, you're not getting a picture, you're not getting that, but you know what I mean? Check my schedule out. Find out when I'm in a city near you. Come to my show. I'll take a picture with you and I'll sign it. You, you know, you know, my last question for you. Mm -hmm. the, the pandemic, it shuts your whole thing down. Um, just like so many other industries. So mm -hmm. many people make their money on the road. They wasn't able to get on the road. Mm -hmm. Is it back to normal for you? Like, like how often are you traveling now? Man. I've done shit almost 38 cities already this year. Damn. Like I travel like crazy. It was crazy because the pandemic is like, that was the longest I had ever went without being on an airplane. You know what I mean? I had to figure out a way. My podcast by the grace of God took off like crazy during the pandemic. The whole world was forced to be on zoom and stream yard and all that kind of stuff. And through my podcast, which is called The Funny Don't Stop Show. The book is called The Funny Don't Stop. The name of my podcast, at The Funny Don't Stop Show. So I utilize this platform right here, these headphones, this mic right here. This became my comedy club. This became my, this became my stage. It was my way to vent and get my thoughts and crazy ideas. And every time I do live interviews like you, hey man, we laugh, I end up using that shit on stage. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So this was my way of working out material in a very organic way that the people don't even realize that that joke I just said, when you laughed, come see me this weekend in New Jersey in front of 5,000 people. You can see that damn goddamn joke. Killing. You know what I mean? So it was a beautiful thing, man. It was a gift and a curse. I got closer to my family. I got a lot done. I'm not going to lie. We remodeled our whole house during the pandemic. You know what I mean? Oh, I got you. closer to my family. It was it was still a blessing. Thank God for being in this business all these years. There's this thing called residuals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you ain't working, you getting paid for TV shows and movies and shit you did 15, 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Um, but the three things, and I'll leave you on this. I think three things I'm very proud that I got done during the pandemic. I got my prostate checked. I got a colonic and a colonoscopy. I have a, 
I have a brand new booty hole. I'm just being honest with you. Um, there was more activity in my ass than a RuPaul <laughs> picnic, brother. Okay. It, they was they was heavy up in me. I'm not gonna lie, man. Kind of really fucked me up when we lost chat with Bozeman. Yes, Black yes. Panther, 43 years old, died of colon cancer, and I immediately did my homework. And when I found out that colon cancer is one of the number one killers of black men in America, I was yep. like, you know what? I'm not gonna be like a lot of brothers to wait for something to happen after he passed away. I'm like, I'm gonna be proactive. I'm going to get this shit done because I want to be here for my wife and my kids. Uh, and it was a, it was a grueling process, but I'm happy I did it. You know, no, and I, I did mine too. So oh, I congratulations. Know. You're, oh yeah. Oh, so you're, 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 you're a, uh, a member of the new booty club. Okay. Congratulations, brother. We clean. We, my booty hole is cleaner than the, than, than, than the whitest society nigga. Okay. It's brand new. I, and I tell brothers, Sean, for all the brothers out there that are that are listening to me, they be like, "Oh hell no, nah, nigga, ain't nobody getting up in my ass." I'm like, "That's the only way they can get in your asshole. It's the only they way. can't go through your eyes, they can't go through your ears, they can't go through your mouth. The shit is real. You can sit here and talk about it all you want. When you find out you're walking around and you got a goddamn football in your ass, you're gonna feel like, okay, this shit might be swollen. There's a beach ball in my asshole right now." I need to go get this shit fixed. And I tell people the story, man. It was, you know, to ease brothers' minds. Man, my prostate check was just 30 seconds, bro. Now, I'm not going to lie. It felt weird being asshole naked with another man in, in, the, in, the, in, in the room with me. And, and I had a real rude uh, booty doctor. He was really rude. I walked in. He was like, okay, bend over. I'm like, nigga, I don't even... Hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You wasn't awake for this, for this, was you? Say it again. You wasn't but, awake. No, I'm about, I'm about, I'm gonna tell you the story. Okay, okay, go ahead. They don't put you to sleep for the prostate, nigga. That's just two fingers That's in your right. asshole. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get you to put to sleep. I'm gonna get you there. I'm about to say, nigga, where did you go? Did they put you to sleep to go 30 seconds in your ass? So it was 30 seconds, but he was just like, yo, bend over. And I'm like, my man, I, I just met you. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't. Am I? Am I supposed to be on my elbow? I don't know if I was supposed to grab my ankles. I don't know. Do I put my knees up on the bed? I didn't know, right? So he did what he had to do, and he was just like, "Okay, you're finished." I was like, "What do you? What do you mean you're finished?" I was like, "You're done." I was like, "I didn't feel anything. I, I, am I that easy? Like, did you just slide up in me? That either he had some little ass fingers, or he had a whole lot of loop. I don't know because I didn't look back. You know what I mean?" I mean, I didn't hear nothing. I, I didn't hear none of that, right? And he takes his clipboard and he just walks out on me. And I'm just standing there naked. I'm just like, I mean, are you going to call me? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know, so that was my prostate check. And then uh, two weeks later, I went and got a colonic. And as you know, a colonic is cleansing your ass out. That's just hot water, cleansing your ass out. And it's a clear tube. And they lay you there and you're actually looking at all of the bullshit of your life right in front of your eyes. You realize how filthy you are. I'm laying there, Sean, and nigga, it looked like black tar was coming out my ass. I was seeing shit that I ate. I was like, nigga, oxtails. I haven't had oxtails in like 15. I'm like black licorice. That's how I had black licorice. It was like 89. It was a fair and I was like, well, hold up, nigga, is that a dime? I swallowed that dime when I was like six, nigga. You know what I mean? Like all this shit right in front of my eyes. But when I when it was over, 15 pounds lighter, got all the toxins out. My body, like my fucking okay. skin was glowing. I, was, I felt great. I'm like, this shit's incredible, right? So the last one was the colonoscopy. That took an hour. I had to hold my wife's hand for that. And they did put me to sleep for that. I'm terrified because I've never been sedated. No one's ever put me to sleep. I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm sitting, I'm asking a billion questions. I'm asking the lady, like, so what, yo, what, like, what are you about to do? She's like, don't worry. You're not going to feel anything once the propofol gets in you. I was like, whoa, 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 stop. The fuck did you say? Propofol? What's the first name that comes to your mind when you think propofol? Michael Jackson. Michael 
Jackson. I was like, hold up. She's like, well, you know, Michael did it. I was like, yeah, but bitch, he didn't wake up. Okay. It scared the fuck out of me because I knew the story about how that's how he had to sleep every night for the last, last year of his life that Dr. Conrad Murray was giving him propofol every night. But obviously he's a doctor. He knew how much of it. And she was like, don't worry. Trust me. This is what I do. You're going to count from 10 backwards. And by five, you'll be in Never Never Land. I'm like, bitch, that's not funny. It's fucking not funny. I don't need any goddamn Michael Jackson jokes right now. And I didn't believe her. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. So it's that strong. She's like, trust me, count from five. I mean, from 10 and by five, you'll be knocked out. I was like, whatever. I'm like, you know, 10, nine, nigga, eight, seven, <laughs> six. <sighs> when I tell you, I now know why Michael Jackson was on propofol. Sean, it was the best sleep I've got in 15 years. I was waiting years. for you to finish. I was waiting brother, for you to brother, finish. Brother, I was asleep for one hour. It felt like I slept for six months. I woke up, Sean, I was a brand new man. Sean, I woke up white with perfect credit. That's it. Yeah, I would tell you how the, the, the sleep. It is, put it this way, for anybody who is on the fence or in denial or I'm not going to get a colonoscopy, for the sleep alone, it's worth it. It was incredible. So, I almost felt like they, I almost didn't believe they went up in me until she showed me the, the uh, like the x-ray yep. of that, that my insides were cool. Because when I say you feel nothing, but it was the best sleep. It really made me see, like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Michael Jackson had the type of money to, you know, so-called get the best doctors that, that didn't work out, but it, this, that he used that every night to go to sleep. It's sad that he had to go there to get sleep though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause it ended up not working out, but man, it was some of the best sleep I've ever had in my life. Like you no, wish really you could is. sleep like that every night. You know what I mean? It really is. That that sleep is amazing. I'll tell anybody that. I'm like, look, I know you ain't looking forward to it. Yeah. And it is it is one of them things that you definitely yeah. uh as a man and especially as a black man in our community, yeah. we ain't doing the colonoscopy. Yeah. yeah. But I got the three Pete, brother. I got the three Pete. I got the triple X. Yeah. I, I, I did two of the three. I did two of the three. I never got the the what, what was the colonic. The, the, colonic. I never got the colonic. So so but, the, the the prostate's thirty seconds. Colonic is thirty minutes, and the colonoscopy is an hour. Well, I'm gonna tell you the prostate. I had a little white woman, uh, <laughs> and and you said you ain't feel nothing. This woman was like a a, a animal. <laughs> like, I felt so violated when this woman did this to me. And then she turned around and was like, thank God that I'm a little white woman. I got small hands. I'm like, it felt like a bear was back there. Like, are you kidding me? When you feel like the rock. You feel like the rock gave you a goddamn whole lot. <laughs> no. Like, bitch, can you not use your fist? Jesus. Nah, I I thought, and she got a big old smile out of that. Cause you know, I'm a big guy. She was like, bend That's over and funny. rammed herself. She was like, thank God I got small feet. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> Here's a public oh. service announcement. Go ahead and get your prostate check. Go ahead and get that colonoscopy. You can't right. beat it. Hey man, that was my public service announcement for the day. I had a lot of fun with you though, man. This was really cool, brother. No, nah, likewise, I enjoyed the conversation. Alex, yeah. you funny, funny dude, man. Like right now, my larynx hurt. Like you got, you got to do. Oh, <laughs> my frame of my chest is hurt, and I've been laughing so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. No, nah, I appreciate the time, man. Please go pick up his book, "The Funny Don't Stop." Absolutely. Log in. Out the podcast, the funny don't stop. And and where can they find you so that they can check you? You've been on the road 38. Oh, yeah. F funny man, Alex Thomas. That'll let you know what city I'm in. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to try to blow smoke up my own ass, but I'm very entertaining on Instagram. You're going to laugh. 
Uh, I do crazy memes. It's just my life, my family, my jokes, my podcast. I love- What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.